this side of the wall, we have two walls full of stories of how exhibitors at IMAX 2018 are actually implementing the longer lasting impact in their meetings. And let's dig into a few of these stories. For example, the Hawaii International Convention Center. Aloha. At the Hawaii Convention Center, we've made a commitment for our own legacy to plant one million trees throughout the state of Hawaii. How are we going to do this? We have partnered with a local organization that is dedicated to replanting forests. Where are we going to get the support for this? Our customers who come and have their conventions at the center. We have already made an agreement with one organization called the American Dental Association and they have made a commitment to replant 10,000 trees throughout our forests in Hawaii. If we can do this with many other customers, imagine what can happen with the carbon footprint. And what to think about what the Ashford Castle does in Ireland. Practically one of our greatest achievements and undoubtedly was our National Geographic Unique Lodges of the World certification. The only property in Ireland to achieve it. That was everything to do with sense of place, supporting your local community, your biodiversity, your immediate impact on your environment, short and long term. It encompassed everything that we would hope to continue for a long, long time, long after I'm come and gone from the estate. But not only venues can make an impact in terms of sustainability, listen to this story by the AIM Group International about how they raised an entire destination. We must be brave sometimes to choose destinations that are not used to host meetings or that maybe they probably they do not have infrastructures and enough knowledge. Uh, this is what happened with the CRT Academy. We chose Lampedusa because after a brainstorming, we decided to go in an island that is highly known and characterized for emergency. So our young doctors needed to be trained on emergency. So Lampedusa was the best place to go. The problem was that Lampedusa was not, uh, I would say, hadn't any facility and was not really prepared for hosting 150 young doctors coming from all over our country. Uh, but when we arrived, we realized that we could do it, that the people were waiting to have an opportunity to show a different island, not to show the island only as the island of the immigrants, but as an island that is capable of, of giving hospitality, uh, nice restaurants, nice hotels. I would say also we could even have a good infrastructure because we transform the airport into a meeting space. Speaking of destinations, you might remember the BB campaign in 2012 between IMAX and the Slovenian Convention Bureau. Well, that story got a nice tale. Thinking, brainstorming very deep, what's the specialty, what's the USP of Slovenia? And we realized are the bees. Everybody knows the bees because everybody loves the honey. And everybody knows that without bees there is no world, there is no life. And so we initiated, let's set up a bee house. And uh, with the IMAX Challenge uh, 2012, we successfully set up a great bee house with 2 million bees. Now we are producing every year honey. Uh, we have a big full-time employed beekeeper. Uh, but of course, out of honey, you can make all kinds of products. But this bee house is not just a bee house. It's a special bee house that offers epitherapy. So we are uh, treat, make tr uh, health treatments for handicapped children and adults in this bee house. When this two-day project finished, we were all crying. The children, the adults, the handicapped, the Slovenians, the Americans, everybody. And that was one of the best memorable experiences I had in my life. These are all very inspiring stories. And for the last one, I want to take you actually into Hall 8, to the stand of Costa Rica, because they have a project that impacts all of us. Can you tell us a little bit more about the legacy project that you guys are running here at IMAX? Of course. You know, we are very proud because Costa Rica has been a pioneer in ecotourism. Actually, we host you know, the 5% of the whole bio biodiversity, okay, in only a small country, you know, in which the fifth of the country is dedicated to protected areas. 
in um, 2017, Costa Rica uh, implemented the um, uh, Certificate of Sustainable Tourism, which is recognized by the uh, World Tourism uh, Organization. And uh, we uh, compensate, you know, the offset of every uh, hosted buyers during their flights and their ground transportation. Okay, that means we uh, are going to compensate right now uh, the 5.3%, I mean, tons of CO2. Uh, that represents $40,000. We can now witness the official handover of the carbon offset of all hosted by your flights and all shuttle buses. Pablo, take it away. Thank you very much. And we are glad to announce that, you know, in 2018, we're going to repeat, you know, this experience. Thank you very much, IMAX. Thank you so much, Pablo. We're just so delighted to be working with Costa Rica on this really important initiative, especially this year with it being our legacy year. It, and at IMEX, we're so we're also think it's so important sustainability. We really believe in that. So this is a fabulous partnership for both of us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And for you, thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. We hope we inspired you and sparked you to think about your legacy and your long-lasting impact of the meetings that you organize, you plan, or support.